she's nice and mighty Just letting it all hang out ah, She's a bread house I like lady stack, that's a fact Ain't holding nothing back ah, She's a bread house Ah, oh, so, you finally found me You are assassin sent here by LRH to kill me oh, Wrong, wrong, wrong And don't assume that makes an ass out of you And I just want to be left alone you know, take it easy. You tell LRS I will personally kill every two bit hitman he sends to kill me. Oh, you think you're gonna wing that over here and hit me in between the eyes? And Dr. J here is gonna be untouched? That only happens on TV! Don't you know what you like? You're gonna hit your partner right in the eye, you wait! Straight me, fat boy. Damn you! Damn you! Damn! You crazy? Come on! Fast no more, huh? Cut! You know, it wouldn't be too cool to put a knife in a guy's eye socket oh, on the first I day. Adam, Personally, Adam. I think it showed a pretty egregious lack of regard for my life. personal safety. Egregious. Okay. What are the chances of that guy having a wooden arm, huh? Come on, come on, come on! Wait, that's my car! That's my car right there! Whoa! Man, that's, that's too wild. No, man, I'm gonna have to go snatch these boys. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 the, the light's gonna change. Get back in here, man. Come on. Man, it's like a serious moral dilemma. Oh, tell me about it. Like Sophie's choice or some sh We can't give up on a known Morlock just to try to get your car back. Right, right, right. I mean, there's, there's other cars. There's other Volvos. Well, besides, it's, it's, it's bad karma to get attached to material things. You know, right? that's right. We should take the spiritual road. We should go for the perp. Right, right. Hey, compadre, nice car. Yeah, appreciate it. You appreciate it? Y'all appreciate on your butt, appreciate it. Klepto, car stealing fool. Henry, do you remember when I was telling you about my kid? What, the delinquent? He's sitting behind the wheel of your car. That's your son? Yes, that's my son. Man, I ought to whoop your butt. What, what you teach that boy? Still in a man's ride like that. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 hold up. No, look, I, I understand your impulse to go after your son. But what about Tomer? The guy's getting electrocuted in a couple hours. It's my son! Now, you can't let personal concerns get in the way of the task at hand. If you do, you get whipped by the deacon. Wait, Ed's getting away! Come on, let's go! He's a car thief, for God's sake! Besides, that's one of the rules, man. You can't have any contact with those from the former life. The kid won't even recognize you. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't! Oh, you're breaking rules now. Man, I think we're being followed. Man, there's no way that... I'm gonna pass you him, I'm gonna pass him, I'm gonna take him, I'm gonna him. You explain this, all right? You explain it. Oh, see? See, man, we're definitely being followed. I'm not doing this, I'm not. I can't believe you just said that. Oh, you... Oh, oh, oh! You think... Kid, I swear, it's, it's just what I don't want to ever run from me again. Come on, man. Now get in the car! What? I said get in the car, you heard me. Hey, Tomac. Gotta be kind of like a nightmare. Just sitting around, nothing to do but die. <laughs> All right, let's go. Time to face the music. Hey. Hey, man. Hey, so how do you know so much about me? Who are I'm you? Your guardian angel, remember? Uh, just stand right there and shut up. What kind of an operation are you running here, Elizabeth? Excuse me, do I know you? Ben here tried to steal my friend's car, smashed into a pole, resulting in major body damage, which you are going to pay for to have fixed. Now, I'm going to be coming by here once a week until we're even. Is this true, Ben? Answer her! Basically. <sighs> do I know you? You, you seem... 
seem so familiar. I get that a lot. My name's Gavin. Uh, Gavin McLeod. Well, Gavin, he's gonna be grounded until further notice, I can promise you that. Ben here's had a hard time. Both of his parents passed away. I know. You do? I'll be watching you, mister. <laughs> Who was that guy? I don't know. Hey, man, you did the right thing, man. I mean, who cares about Grizzly Yannick, man? Your son's more important. There's plenty of more locks to catch. Thanks, I appreciate it. So how'd it go? Well, Grizzlyonic is a Morlock, but as we were in the process Did of, you get him or not? Uh, that would be a no. You hearing this, Doctor? Oh, I am hearing it, but I am not believing it. God! You know, Chandler, maybe we made a mistake about you. Maybe you're not core material. Look, I'll make it up to you guys. Yeah, well, how are you going to make I, it up to it? How? I, that is what I would like to hear. I will find this Grizzlyonic guy, I guess. Have you checked the population of L.A. lately, huh? Half of damn Moscow's descended on us. You got no leads, man. Why don't you just hope for us? Guys. I'm gonna have to get back What's here the on this one. With you? Oh! oh. Now, I wanna send a message to Elorance. I don't know, Elorance. Play smart ass with me, I am next. There is no need to raise your voice, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Now, are you gonna take a message to Elorance or am I gonna kill Julius Harvey? I, I don't know Elorance. I know you work for him! Do you think I'm stupid enough to allow you to play dumb? I have no idea how stupid you are. I just know that I do not know anybody by the name of Elorance. You liar! You're sent here to kill me. If you think I'm lying, then pull the trigger. But before you do process, I've got to be telling the truth. Why else would I risk it? Oh, no, 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 no. All you people who work for him, you're all trained in those mind games. Look, I'm going to tell you one more time, fat boy. I don't know anybody by the name of Elorance. Fat boy? Fat boy! Fat boy! Fat boy! What happened? While you were out cold, I subdued the suspect. Are you kidding? Well, check yeah. it out yourself. Oh, how'd you do that? I intimidated him into a heart attack. Best I can tell, his ticker just blew out on him. Oh, who knew? Now that we got Ed in custody, get out your cell phone and call somebody important. In about 30 minutes, Homer gets the juice from killing somebody who's still alive. Breaking news, just moments before Tomek Walensky's scheduled execution, the governor has agreed to pardon the immigrant convict. This pardon comes in light of the stunning revelation that Walensky's supposed victim, Ed Bruzelanek, is alive and recovering from a heart attack in a Southland hospital. <coughs> Dr. Forrest, dial 118, please. Dr. Forrest, please dial somewhere? You look pretty good for a guy who just had a coronary. Why haven't you killed me? Because we're not sent by El Lorenz, and we want to know what you know about him. Chandler Smythe. Henry McNeil, agents of the Corps. Ah. I should have known that. Okay. El Lorenz wanted the cop Morlocks dead. I was the last one left alive. So you faked your own death? So he wouldn't come after me. I'd go down to this shitty little bodega where Tomek was a butcher. I'd Pull out one of those Morlock killing knives you bastards carry around, and I hairy carry myself right in front of the louse. Only it's not a real knife, it's one of those prop knives from the movies. Kaboom! In comes an innocent bystander, but one I'd rigged up in advance, see? Tomac tries to back away from the whole thing, but he's framed better than a Mona Lisa. I faked my own murder, and it was perfect. No bagging Tomac. That was just a sweetener. Hmm? What did Tomek have to do with any of this? What do you mean? Are you friend innocent man? Innocent? What are you kidding? He was LRN's top hitman. He killed all of us. I just faked my death and framed him. So Tomek isn't innocent? Aren't you listening? No, he was Big L's main assassin. He's a fucking monster! 